Hey guys, so in the last video I broke down what total daily energy expenditure is made up of. And as I explained, the majority of your energy that you use comes from your basal metabolic rate, your body's energy requirements at rest. It makes surprisingly little difference our movement levels for our energy needs compared to how much we just burn by doing nothing. The amount of energy that's needed just to keep us alive. And that's ultimately what it is. It's the amount of energy needed to, to you know, just keep everything going. We burn on average around about 24 calories per pound of body weight through our organs. So our brain, our heart, our lungs, our stomach, all that sort of stuff, on average burn 24 calories per pound of body weight. Muscle burns an average of 6 calories per pound of body weight. Uh, fat is 2 calories and bone is 1 calorie. Now obviously that varies somewhat person to person because obviously their composition of those different things will vary a little bit. But that's kind of a rough guideline. So the ways you can change your basal metabolic rate are twofold really. To change the amount of your overall body you've got. So obviously losing fat you know, as, you, as you get smaller, as you lose weight, your BMR will lower. Which is often why people lose weight initially, then it slows down. Could also be the fact that perhaps they're a little bit less attentive to what they're eating, but it could be that they weigh 20% less, so therefore their energy requirements are 20% lower than they were before. And what was previously a deficit has now become maintenance. So you can just, yeah, you can change your um, BMR by getting smaller or bigger. Good news of gaining weight is that you then have a higher energy needs. Uh, and that's often why people hit at a certain level of plateau. They'll gain weight to a certain point. Let's say they've been eating in an average of a two, three hundred calorie surplus. They get to the point where that becomes their maintenance because they're bigger and heavier. Uh, and obviously, as well as changing the overall amount of your body, you can change the composition. So you could have less body fat, more muscle. Uh, muscle, as it says there, does burn three calories, sorry, three times more um, energy per pound of body weight. But that again doesn't really add up to much. It's a bit like the video I did earlier where talking about the afterburn effect of exercise and how it's not really that beneficial. You'll see some fit pros try and tell you that by gaining lean mass, again, you turn into some sort of fat burning machine. It's not really, it's kind of true. You know, you'll burn a little bit more, but again, we're talking tens of calories. So you take two people of the same overall mass, so you take two 15 stone men, for example, you take one who would be 12 stone if he was lean, but has three stone of excess body fat, and you take one who is lean and has 15 stone of, of lean body, there won't be all that much difference in their energy requirements. There will be an amount, but we're talking several tens of calories. Again, not enough to really make it worthwhile. The amount of effort that would go into gaining those three stones of muscle isn't worth it. If you're looking for a way to lose weight, gaining three stones of muscle isn't worth it because it'll marginally increase your, your body's calorie needs but not by enough. Um, so that's that, guys. That's, that's what um, BMR stands for, basal metabolic rate. It's your body's energy requ um, requirements at rest, made up from about 24 calories per pound of body weight for your organs, six for muscle, um, uh, where am I up to now? Uh, two for fat and one for bone. There's not much you can do about your bone composition. Again, if you found that useful, let me know.